Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the Congregation of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Bernice Howard, your host for today's podcast. And our scripture for today is Romans chapter 8, verses 37 through 39. I'm reading from the New International Version. No, in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Apostle Paul wrote this wonderful news to believers in Rome and everywhere. Paul wanted all believers to be totally assured of how much God loves us. One of my favorite authors, Henry Nouwen, who is considered one of the great spiritual writers of our day, who taught at Harvard, Yale, and Notre Dame, wrote in his book, Life of the Beloved, the following words, which I am quoting. We are the beloved. We are intimately loved long before our parents, teachers, spouses, children, and friends loved or wounded us. That's the truth of our lives. That's the truth I want you to claim for yourself. That's the spoken truth by the voice that says, You are my beloved. Now and continues with these words. Listening to that voice with great inner attentiveness, I hear at my center words that say, I have called you by name from the very beginning. You are mine, and I am yours. You are my beloved. On you, my favor rests. I have molded you in the depths of the earth and knitted you together in your mother's womb. I have carved you in the palms of my hands and hidden you in the shadow of my embrace. I look at you with infinite tenderness and care for you with a care more infinite than that of a mother for her child. I have counted every hair on your head and guided you at every step. Wherever you go, I go with you, and wherever you rest, I keep watch. I will give you food that will satisfy all your hunger and drink that will quench all your thirst. I will not hide my face from you. You know me as your own, as I know you as my own. You belong to me. I am your father your mother, your brother, your sister, your lover, and your spouse, yes, even your child, wherever you are, I will be. Nothing will ever separate us. We are one. Beautiful words from now and. And friends, I add these. We only have to seek him to find him. His love is waiting to give us peace. All we have to do is believe and reach for him. Will you pray with me now? God of love, I believe. I am reaching. Let me feel your great love today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's podcast was written and read by Bernice Howard. 
I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, and you've been listening to our congregation's Grace for All podcast. I'm so grateful for the lay members of our congregation who write, edit, and produce this podcast. To learn more about our congregation and its ministries, or to participate in our streaming worship services this weekend, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Until the next episode, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the presence of God's Holy Spirit be with you.